I decided to swap this Mavic Air 2 to Mini 3 Pro <coughs> because first because it's like a toy the weight is below 250 grams that means I can fly everywhere in the city this beast is quite heavy its weight is over 500 grams and here in Europe there are a lot of restrictions to fly heavier drones for example I shoot a lot of stock footage on this guy and I want to have an ability to fly everywhere and shoot everything and it's also much harder to take this guy to other countries while traveling because of its weight and with this little guy I can fly everywhere and shoot whenever I want I'm still holding this guy because I just ordered Mini 3 and waiting for it also the main idea of this swap was that the sensor of Mini 3 is bigger than in my Air 2 and the price is almost the same so for me it was not like upgrading my stuff it was just swapping the old one for the new one without paying a lot more you can also ask why not to buy Mavic Air 2S with one inch sensor that will make better photos and low light video performance is better uh, the answer is the quality of Air 2 is sufficient for me and uh, Mini 3 will have even bigger sensor so I think it's a no-brainer for me and due to its lower weight it'll be easier to walk with my backpack <laughs> Ah, another cool perk is that aperture is 1.7 while this guy has 2.8 aperture that means even better pictures and videos don't forget but <laughs> also don't forget about the option to rotate gimbal vertically for tiktoks reels and vertical photos without cropping uh, i think we have to talk about the downsides of mini 3 pro for example these ND filters come as a default when you buy Mavic Air 2 combo and you don't get this option with Mini 3 Pro that's a pity because I'm always using ND filters when shooting with a bright sun and now actually I don't know what to do where to buy uh, the ones uh, for Mini 3 Pro if you have any ideas for third-party filters drop comments below please the new drone comes with the remote control with built-in screen but I don't think I need that to pay more for that controller I'm fine with this one just connect my phone and it's ready you can install whatever application you want uh, I heard there are third-party applications but I'm using only the DJI Fly app but if you want to customize your flight experience in future you won't be able to do it in the new controller with built-in screen so one thing to consider also I think it's a cool idea to fly your drone shoot some footage and sell it on stock footage websites to so to say get your money back for the drone I'm always trying to take this guy to shoot something for stocks as you can see here and actually you can do it too it's quite easy I'm leaving a link in the description for you to register on the stock footage website just shoot and upload there that's it and talking about drones in general I also love to fly FPV drones and I'm learning to do that for example click this video next to take a look and 